Why can't you see? What is God? Who is God? What can He do? What is the own to have a God's blessed life? Human beings want uninterrupted joy and peace. Where we can get that joy and, and, and happiness. This book will give you better, those answers. Nietzsche, the famous German philosopher, says God is dead. One American philosopher said the old God is not working anymore. We need him want to replace him. We need a new one. The other day I was telling in Calcutta devotees, you know, Ram Krishna, Krishna, Rama came and what did he do? He killed Rama. Krishna came, he killed Kamsa and few devotees. Ram Krishna came, he did the kill. But he is an What did he do? He killed the greatest demon one can think of. Samshaya Rakshasa Nasha Mahasra Yami Guru Mishara Namba Vaitya. He killed the greatest demon that is Samshaya, doubt. Very difficult to kill. You can kill a person, but you cannot kill that person's doubt. It is easy to kill a man or a woman. Shiva, during the churning the ocean, came that deadly poison. 
which is about to destroy the whole universe. He took the whole poison and kept it in his throat, so he is called Nilakant. Sri Ramakrishna in this age drank the poison of nasty katha, atheism, bhog, nijam, and that poison he kept in his throat, which brought, which developed cancer. Shami Vivekananda went to Ramakrishna and asked question, as you all know, have you seen God? Yes. I see God more than I see you. And I can show you. He never heard such a thing. He is 27, he has a long, he has a lecture at Nose Rule Mons in South Calcutta, nearly 2,000 years. What it is? It is not easy to change Vivekananda. He is physically strong, mentally strong, intellectually strong, morally, ethically strong, spiritually strong, different, extreme passion for truth. It is not easy to change Vivekananda. No way. The person who represented Hinduism, he was not a Hindu. He was a Brahmo. He did not like Hinduism. The caste system, he hated Bhagavadiva, the child marriage. He did not like many of Hindu superstitions. So he joined the Brahmo Shama. What did Brahma Samas do? They did not believe God with false. Their concept of God is God is nirakar but shagun, harmless but full of qualities. That is the concept, Christian concept, Muslim concept, Brahma concept of God is that. God has no form, but full of qualities. All powerful, all merciful, omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. That is God. That he believed. <coughs> he did not care for Hindu gods and goddesses. But he was forced to believe God by, the, by his poverty. My mother, my brother, sister are starving at all. Helpless, could not get a job, came to Ramakrishna and asked, Sir, do something for me. What can I do? You do not believe in my mother. Alright? I'm giving you a blank check. You go to my mother, whatever you ask, she will give you. What she asked? I think this. Ma, Ganda, Bhakti Dham, Vivek Dham, Vairalko Dham, Abad Dharsun Dham. Mother give me knowledge, devotion, discrimination, renunciation, uninterrupted division. That he asked. He did not believe Guru God. Had he tell Ramakrishna the Guru. He did not believe in Avatar God. He wrote Avatar God is Ramakrishna the He did not believe in Janmantra God, reincarnation. Believe. He did not believe Advaita Bhav. Oh, Hindu, sages, saints, munis, rishis, they are all cranks, crazy. That is the way you used to criticize. Are you, don't go, don't, you don't go so hard. Sit down, you can stop him. He criticized Ramakrishna. God Brahma, Bhakti Brahma, pots and pans, all are Brahma, nonsense. Sri Ramakrishna tasked him. He went home, rice, consciousness. Mother serving food, consciousness. He went to the cars coming, consciousness. He bumping his head on the head to a railing, consciousness. He 
wife, children, husband, family, happy. We don't need God. If money could make a person happy, every many people you among you would be happy. Krishna says, Anittam asukam lokam imam pratpapajasama Anittam. This world is impermanent. Asukam, who knows is that? Worship. You see, I always tell people, these two things you cannot buy in the market. Love, sorry, bliss and peace. You go, I earn five pound peace and ten pound bliss. Go, go, go with money. He does not serve. That comes from within. I remember another story. Brahma, the creator, lavishly gave everything to the children. Then he was thinking, if I give everything, they will never come back to me. I shall keep something with me. The peace and bliss. When there was a conference, where shall I hide them? Somebody suggested, put it under the ground. But it was those American people, they were burst with dynamite and just and get it. Put it in above the space, but they will go in a space shuttle and get it. Put it under water, but they will go in submarine and will get it. Then Brahma said, do you know what shall I give them? I shall keep the peace and bliss in the heart of each human being. The kingdom of heaven is within you, Jesus said. You will have to go with it. There is no other way. It is inside. There is a poem of Chago Rami Apon Gonde Guri Guriamori Kujite Gonde Mong Kosturi Mirigo Shaho. Kosturi Mirigo, masks, dear, thinks that fragrance is coming from outside, which is coming from his nether. So we are searching peace and peace outside, then inside. That Vedanta teaches, that your spiritual practices unveil that peace and peace within you. That is God. Swamiji emphatically told us, Bhurupi Shamukhe Sari Kota Puji Si Shor, Javit Jiva Pram Kharaji Jan Shai Jan Shai Si Shor. Living this living God, Father of Goin, love human beings. You know, I was, that day I go to tell in those old months, I want you to tell them that why Vedanta appeals to you, American people. Do you know why? These two things are in the largest stream of the American people. Democracy and freedom. Man, those are in the plan. Democracy. Vedanta teaches with the concept of God, according to Vedanta, is the democratic concept of God. Each soul is potentially divine. I give this illustration. Here are four billion cups of water. And here is the sun. What do you see? You see four billion reflected sun? That is God. Consciousness, Chaitanya, Satchitana. That is God according to Vedanta. Second, freedom. All Vedanta literature you read, the last chapter is Jivan Mukti, liberation in life. Love, it is freedom and democracy. That appears the ocean mind. Chamiji said in Rajputana, if you want to see God, go into the heart of the poor people. And if you want to realize God, serve them. You know, these are the two words. We are Swami Vivekananda's practical brother to inspire us. Love and serve. Love people, serve people. That is the way it will destroy your selfishness. 
Unselfishness is God. Selfishness is sin. The Chami Ji said again and again. Bhagavan Darshan. I have very student. She is husband and wife, both are professors. So wife came to me, Swami, I like to have Samadhi. I laughed and I said, Really? You want Samadhi? Yes, Swami. And before you want Samadhi, you must hire Ridoy. For Ramakrishna Samadhi, his nephew used to grab me. Otherwise, he will broke his teeth and break his hand to hire somebody. His husband was telling me, Shami, I can, <laughs> I can do that job. Let my wife have Shamadhi. <laughs> I sometimes frighten them. See, Ramakrishna says, after God direction, do you know what will happen? A kushdi de mrittu. Within 21 days, he will die. Do you like to die? <laughs> Our God, it is better to have in the prostitute preparation. There is joy. We you cook food. So much time you spend to prepare a dish, but eating only 15 minutes, boom, gone. Preparation in the spiritual life is very vital. Joy. I remember the line of Tagore. To my Dakana, I mean, let see you. I get pain, but that pain is also sweet. I did not see you. God. Let me go in the philosophical side of our topic. In the Dirishya Vivek, a famous Vedanta book, says, Rupam drisham rochanam drik tad drisham drik to manasham drisha devritayo sakshi drigeva nato drishati. Who sees eyes? But eyes are not the seer. Mind is the seer. You, I, I, my eyes are open on you. I have not seen you before. If my mind is someone else. Again, mind, deep breath, all the waves of the mind. You see, who is this here? Consciousness, Shakshi, which is consciousness is this here? Shakshi, Dhritivu, he is this here. Final seer is the consciousness. Without consciousness, we are all dead. <coughs> Somebody was asking me a question, and showed me what is the miracle. Miracle? You are alive, that is miracle. Five minutes, if I push you down under the water, you will die. Only five minutes, if you do not breathe, you will die. Definitely, you will die. You are alive, we are alive. That is a miracle. This human body is so precious. Really precious. It is not easy to get human body. If you read the commentary of Shankara in Chandra Upanishad, you will find how difficult to get a human body. Vivekananda Chaitanya Shankara says, "Durlavam trame vaita devanagro hetam manushatta mukshatta maapurusha samshayo." These three things are rare in human life. Manushatta. Even her, Mumukshita, Bharni Jiza Pradivarisha, and Mahapurusha Samshara, company of a great soul. If you have those three, lucky you are. Sau Drisha, Drikrisha. We see how you, we see through our eyes, correct? We get knowledge through five senses. Through the eyes we see, through the ears we hear, through the nose we smell, through the tongue we taste, and through the skin we feel touch. These are the five organs of knowledge. But meditation develops six senses. That is the main theme of this book. 
how you can develop six sense through meditation. We see, what do we see? We see variety, multiplicity, diversity that we see. I see man, woman, trees, plants, all, light. Variety, variety, you see. Vedanta says that vision is wrong. Why? Double vision is good or bad, tell me. You see two cars are coming, you are seeing two moons. Do you know what that means? You have defect in your eyes, glaucoma, or some other things. You have double vision, double vision, double vision. You will be in deep trouble if you have double vision. You go to the doctor. So we see variety, multiplicity, diversity. Vedanta says that is wrong. Ekutta dosh. Vision of oneness, that is the correct vision. Very interesting subject. I see all these people, this is wrong. When you go to deep sleep, why do they go? You want to disappear. When you come back, the world appears. Manaspandana meva jagat, this world is nothing but a vibration of the mind. You know to say. It is a mind. Dvaita darshan or Dvaita darshan. When something bothers me, do you know what do I read? What do I repeat? Manodrishamidam sarvam yad kinchi chakata sajarajaram manohi amani bhavi dvaita na upurakta kinchi den mandiko bodhishtha. Manodrishamidam sarvam whatever I see, which is the drishtha. See. S C I E N E. See. Just kinched all the mobile room, all the mobile objects you see in this world, nothing but see. Do it to Manohi Avani Bhavi. When the mind becomes mindless, the quality is unperceived. That I practice sometimes. This world vanishes from the mind. Do it to no Kulip. In other words, sometimes Upanishadic meditation I see God <coughs> Upanishad. God created this mind with outgoing tendencies. But there are some people who turn that focus of the mind inward and see, behold, the Atman within. Those verses are very beautiful, very poetic in the Upanishad. There is variety. Kiyo Kumhoi, let me give an example. There is a stump of a tree in the park, you see. A man is thinking a woman is waiting for me. My, a woman is thinking my man is waiting for me. A police is thinking that he is a thief. The thief thinks he is a policeman. A child sees that, 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 is, that is a ghost. The five people are projecting the same stump of a tree because of darkness. When light comes, we see the tree as a tree. That is the constitution. You see this variety, multiplicity, diversity. This is all comes from ignorance, darkness. Sri Ramakrishna saw. Mother Kali, this Osha Kushi, water stuff, everything is saturated in consciousness. Ekotta darshan. What is the result of this Ekotta darshan? Unity of knowledge. Tatuna Vishukupshate. Vishukupanishad says, you cannot hate anybody. Who will you hate? God doesn't hate to God. These are all living gods. When you have tremendous likes and dislikes, that do you know what that means? You are very sensitive ego. 
you read Moses in the burning bush, he was talking, <coughs> I am that I am. He received the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Sinai. There is a Sufi story. One Sufi teacher told his ten students, take this chicken and slash his head in a solitary place where nobody can see. So nine st students came with the chicken and severed head to their guru. One disciple is a teacher delivery. What is the matter with you? He said, Master, wherever I went, I saw somebody is watching, God is watching me. God is watching me, so I could not kill this chicken. You are my true student. Shortly after Sri Ramakrishna's passing and passed and passing away, she, he appeared before God. Praise the Ram. God, why are you removing the bangle? Don't. I sometimes say, we need to, three days Jesus to resurrect, Ram Krishna resurrected within two hours. Shami Vivekananda wrote in the rule book, the Lord has not yet given up the Ram Krishna form. Some see him in that form, even now, and receive instructions from him, and all can see him, if they so desire. This form will last until he comes again in another group's body. Though he is not visible to all, that he is in this order and guiding, it is a fact of everybody's experience. In fact, if one sees God, incarnation of God, one sees God. Jesus said, you have seen me, has seen the Father. Can one see Ramakrishna even now? The Swami replied, Yes, Swami saw the Master many times. We also see him from time to time. In part, in 1894, in Detroit, Swami vehemently attacked the missionary people. And they tried to kill him. In a dining table, Swamiji was about to seek coffee. Sri Ramakrishna appeared and said, Don't drink it, which is possible. Sri Ramakrishna appeared with many of his disciples. The Vedanta scriptures, such as Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita, emphasize that Brahman or the Atman cannot be seen, cannot be perceived through our eyes or through any of the senses. I shall tell one of my stories. I had a deep problem for five years after initiation. My guru initiated me and told me Ram Krishna is a chosen idol. Ishta. I was studying Vedanta. Watch five things. Shat, Chit, Anand, Ayala, Brahma, Na, Ru, Maya. Ram Krishna is a name, Ram Krishna is a form, Ram Krishna is Maya. So why should I meditate on Ram Krishna? That bothered me. Terribly bothered me. I ran to many Swamis to answer. Oh, both are the same. It did not convince me. I was searching, 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 searching. I want direct statement from Sri Ramakrishna. Finally, I found it. If you read that book, Ramakrishna, as I saw him, bear Swami Akhandaranda's reminiscences. Watch it. The Sri Ramakrishna says, Jijar Ishto, Shaydar Atma, Atma Darshan, Ishto Darshan, Hack. Jijar Ishto Shaitar Atma. Your Ishto and Atma are not different. If you have the vision of your Ishto, you have the vision of your Atma. 
Thus, the two sentences solve my problem forever. This doubt never, never, never came to my mind. Thakur said to me. Thakur said to me. Vedanta scripture. Shita Shatra Upanishad says, His foe is known the object of vision. No one beholds him with his eyes. They who, through pure intellect and the knowledge of unity, based upon reflection and realizing, as abiding in the heart, become immortal. The Mojok Upanishad says, Brahman is not grasped by the eye, nor by speech, nor by the sense, other senses, nor by penance or good works. A man becomes pure through serenity of each other. There are in meditation, he beholds him who is without parts. In the Gita, before showing Arjuna the, his universal form, Krishna said to him, With these eyes of yours, you cannot see me. I give you a divine eye. Behold now my sovereign yoga power. So what we need? If you with these eyes, you will not see God. No way. You need the third eye. Manashyaksha, Gyanashyaksha. Anta Shaksha, we use this stuff, hard eye, mental eye, spiritual eye, divine eye, Nadami Te Dipo Shaksha. How does it work? Let me tell you from the scientific standpoint. I have seen Pal Kalamur, observatory in America, 200 inches diameter of that telescope. At night time all the astronauts come and they watch the position of the planets. With open eyes they're gonna see it. Correct? They see it through telescope. Doctor took your blood to test it. What does he use? Microscope. Of course, now the computer manages everything. Through the microscope, he can see that what are the formation of your blood. With open eyes, he cannot see it. That you believe it. You do not argue about it. That I cannot see it, I cannot see it, I cannot see it. Please, this is scientific. Telescope, microscope, these are all scientific. We believe it, 100%. <coughs> Similarly, if you practice the spiritual disciplines, you will develop these six senses. Ramakrishna is seeing spoon, water, image, everything, consciousness. Even the street girl, mother, you are in another form. Krishna darshan and for Krishna darshan. Once you see God, you will see God all the time. The Guru Gita says, salutations to the Guru who with the collyrium stick of knowledge has operated the eyes of one plunged by the desire of ignorance. Ajnana timiranda isya gyananyana shalakaya chukshurun vunitam jena tasmai shri gura bhinama That is the translation. On 24th August 1882, we have asked Ramakrishna, when one sees God, does one see him with these eyes? The Master replied, God cannot be seen with these physical eyes. In the course of the spiritual discipline, one gets a premier shodhi, love body. Endowed with premier chokshu, love eyes, premier corner, love ears, and so on. One sees God with these, with those love eyes. One hears the voice of God with the love ears. But this is not possible without the intense love of God. One sees nothing but God everywhere. When one sees it, one loves Him with great intensity. It is like a person with jaundice who sees everything yellow. Then one feels, I am very evil. 
On another occasion, now Krishna said, one can see God if one uh, has even the slightest trace of orderliness. Majesty's in dumb damp. Old strike fire without fire through you rub a thousand of them against the matchbox. You only waste a heap of sticks. The mind soaked in orderliness is such a damp majesty. One Sri Radha said to her friends that she saw Krishna everywhere, both within and without. The friends then said, why we don't see him at all? Are you delirious? Radha said, friends, paint your eyes with the collyrium of divine love, Anuraganya, and then you will see him. Ram Krishna went to the Brahma Samaj, there he found People are meditating with closed eyes. Then he said, he said, he said, that's good. Only when I think of him with my eyes closed, doesn't he exist when I look around with my open eyes? Now when I look around with my open eyes open, I see the God dwells in all beings. He's the indwelling spirit of all, men, animals, and giants and other living beings, trees, plants, sun, moon, land, whatever. But I tell them, but please develop your common sense. Tiger also God, lion is God, but don't hug them and embrace them. <laughs> Salute them from a distance. You God, please go. <laughs> from a distance. Some evil people are there. But remember that consciousness is there. But it is very covered with thick ignorance. It will take many, 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 many millions of lives to purify themselves. That is the reason we come to the spiritual life. So that we can make it quick progress. Ramakrishna always encourages his devotees to see God with open eyes. As he perceives, as he as he pervades everything and every being, his nephew Ramla said, if anyone would meditate or close eyes when repeating his mantra inside the Kali temple, the master will tell him, what are you doing? You are seated here in front of the living mother. Look at her, your heart's content. Practice those spiritual disciplines elsewhere. But you cannot see this direct experience. Suppose you have gone home to visit your mother. Would you sit before her with closed eyes and repeat her name? <laughs> Suppose you are my mother and I want to see you. I go, mother, simply sit down. <laughs> then I close my eyes and meditate. Then you are stupid. Hey, mother is here in front of you. See him, see her, talk to her. Why are you closing your eyes and mother, you sit down there. strong common sense. Strong common sense. I remember one a French chemist went home and he found his wife was crying. So the chemist friend was taking the cheers of his wives and analyzing. What is in these tears? It meets as aqua, mucus, salt. In this way, he started to do the chemical analysis of his wife's tears. And his wife was telling, you are a foolish lover. You do not know what tears means. If most of the people are doing chemical analysis, you know. Oh. Yen said, the Master came to prove that God exists. He realized God in many ways, with form and without form. He also made it possible, possible for his intimate disciple to experience God. If those who have never met the Master focus their thoughts on him, he will graciously appear to them. He told his disciples, those who think of me inherit my treasures. As children inherit the parents' wealth, the master reaches 
in religious knowledge, devotion, discrimination, renunciation, love, peace, Mahabhava, Samadhi, and so on. This world is a God's playground. He loves to play hide and seek. I want to hide you, seek me. You seek me. Christ says, ask and ye shall receive. Seek and <coughs> and ye shall find. Knock and ye shall be opened unto you. Now we have to knock. Do you know what we need? That mother. Yearning, longing. That I need that. Seeing the setting sun over the Ganges, Sri Ramakrishna used to cry and say, Mother, another day is gone in vain, still thou art not revealed to me. This yearning, this longing, very important. Sri Ramakrishna's first vision became too longing, not to his spiritual disciplines. He went to cut his head with the sword of Kali, and mother appeared in the village. Now, if you read the Ramakrishna's divine prayer, one chapter is there. Bakulata o Pratham Darshan. Bakulata, yearning and first vision. That is the name of the chapter. Bakulata o Pratham Darshan. Ram Krishna's vision, his song to Divine Mother to hear me now. <coughs> How shall we meditate? This book will give answer. There are 17 chapters there. How to meditate on a form? How to meditate on a quality? How to meditate on the Ram Krishna's mind? Meditation on Ram Krishna's form, meditation on Ram Krishna's mind, meditation on Ram Krishna's divine qualities, meditation on Ram Krishna's leela, meditation on Ram Krishna's service to humanity, meditation on the places of Ram Krishna's leela, Ram Krishna's teachings and meditation, Ram Krishna's prayer, Ram Krishna's scripture, history of Ram Krishna's divine play, history of the gospel, Krishna and Ram Krishna meditation, Dokshineshwar, magnitude, and so on, all these things come. You will, this book, do you know what will happen to you? You will feel very close to the Master. You will know very cheap bit of things. Do you know what was in my mind when I was working on this book? If I really want to love a person, I want to know that person inside and outside. You do not love a strange person who is walking through the street because you don't know him. You do not fall in love with the person who you do not know. Knowledge is necessary, knowing is necessary. This book will help you. But how can I know more about them? And the more you know, the more you love. I sometimes make a joke. Here the young girl fell in love with a young man. Love at first sight, and the handsome young man. Oh, Vishwami, if I can manage Then she heard from her friends that she is coming from a rich family and he will inherit a lot of money. The more this girl's love goes up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vishwami, if I manage this rich boy, you know, I shall make a lot of money. Then he hears, she hears that this boy is very moral character, a musician, he's a sportsman. The more she hears the qualities of this young man, the more her love increases. That is the way we fall in love. <laughs> so, so I sometimes say, try to know more about him. Buy books, read. And go uh, see more, 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 more. 
The person who loves him must know his insides and outsides. He's every little bit of things. What he do, what he sleep, how he sleep, what he eats. All the details you will find in this book and my another book is How to Live with God in the Company of Love. They live with God, God gives you them, how to live with God in, in the company of Ramakrishna and Ramakrishna Jivan play and this Ramakrishna see God with open eyes. These books will bring thousands and thousands and thousands of information about Ramakrishna so that you can fall in love with him. <coughs> The primary result of meditation is experience of God as a living presence in the heart, which brings joy and peace of mind. God is so near to us, but we do not see Him. It was in Pasadena, Swami was there. And there was a young boy, his name was Ram. Swami was just smoking a cigarette. Ram. God is so near to us, but we do not see him. Why should we see Ram, how do you see? I see with my eyes. That is the answer. How do you see your eyes? You see your eyes, everything, but you, do you see your eyes? No. Then Ram says, Swami, if I have a mirror, I can see my eyes. Ram, that is the answer. You need a pure mind. If you have a pure mind, you will see God all the time. All the time you will see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jesus said that. Blessed are the pure in heart. Two thousand years ago that sentence was uttered. Still, that sentence is new. Truth never becomes old. It is new. Thus, age are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. If you have a pure mind. How can my mind become mind? How can I make my mind pure? Chandra Gopalishad answered. Āra śuddhau sattva śuddhi sattva śuddhau dhruva smṛti smṛti lambe sarva grunti lambe prabhupta. How do you eat? Through the mouth. No. You, how you eat? Through the five senses. Through the eyes you eat. Ahar means āryate, gathers in. Through the mind you are good. Through the five knowledge, senses of knowledge, we are feeding our mind all the time. Here, nose, eyes, mouth, touch. In this way, we are continuously, 24 hours, we are feeding our mind. Ahara Shuddha, when this Ahara, Ahara which is bring within, becomes pure. Shatta Shuddhi, mind becomes pure. When the mind becomes pure, it has constant recollectedness of God. When you have constant recollectedness of God, you will be free. You will be free. Thus, that is my answer. You just like so. I told you in brief, it means one hour I <laughs> That's over.